This is part one of the series I've written, and it's called No One or Nothing to Change But Self. I was asked a question about revision, which I thought was a good question. I was asked, if revision changes the past, does that change the future? My answer was this. Well, you can change your attitude towards the past, which inevitably changes your future towards that event. It's not about changing the past or the future. There is no one or nothing to change but self, and self is simply your mind. This makes sense when you think in terms of these concepts, but it misses the point of what Neville is teaching. When you experience something you disliked, and it happened a few years ago, where do you think that experience is taking place? If you fear the future, where do you think that is taking place? It's all happening within your mind, the self. Past and future only exist in the mind, and you have the luxury to change what you wish in your mind. Don't think in these terms of past or future. It becomes too confusing on what to exactly do. Remember, there is no one or nothing to change but self. The way you change self is to imagine with feeling anything you want. It must be something you want, not something you think you should want, or something you have to want or else. Remove consequences from the mind. Remove all punishments and pardon yourself from guilt. Remove having to get things. Remove that stress. You do this by simply imagining what you want with the, feel, with the feeling of actual freedom to do so. Some memory bothering you? Yes, this happens to me every day. But this is something I learned when this happens. When those thoughts that make me cringe inside, I ask myself, where is this taking place? Within me. Who was cringing? Me. Who was imagining this? Me. Once I reassure myself that it is all within me, from here I can change it. I then ask, can I change my feeling? Yes. Can I change this to how I want it to go? Yes. Can I let this go entirely if I wish to let it go? Yes. Can I imagine what I wish? Yes. Then I do it. I do not wait to do it. Even if it's nagging at me, I learn to not fight, but change to what I want. Once I go to precisely what I want, I am always given a surge of feelings of ec ecstasy. It is automatic. I do not force, for there's no need to. Why would I need to? If I'm imagining exactly what I want, the feeling will happen naturally. It must be exactly what I want or else I struggle to feel. Creating my own heaven in my mind is my goal. Neville tells us to not live in desire. The Bible tells us to stop sinning. William Blake tells us to not suppress our desire. Take these words very seriously. If you have any tiny bit of desire, no matter how small, Neville tells us to fulfill it mentally. Keep pruning each day. Remove rules. Remove consequences. Remove the outer world when you imagine. Remove all ideas of what you should do or have to do, and do what you want. Over time from practicing this, I notice the answer is always the same. Whenever I'm not feeling or imagining well, the answer is this. I am not imagining what I want. This is always my answer. The moment I actually go towards exactly what I want, I become fulfilled. The fears melt away and bliss comes. I do not care what the world thinks about it. I do not care what my circumstances are. I do not care whether or not it will happen. I do not care what fears will pop up. None of that matters to me. All that matters is that I fulfill it within me. And this is what actually changes me. This is how I found happiness. I make consciousness my only reality. For example, Neville said this, You want to be free from all embarrassment? How would you feel this night if you were not embarrassed, that not a thing in this world could embarrass you? How would you feel were it so? Here's a quote that must be taken seriously. You see, I always felt the world is unsafe. I would act upon this feeling, always feeling uneasy, and it would create thoughts of me being harmed from the world. But imagine that my world is safe. I get all sorts of feelings. I get feelings and thoughts like, sure, you can imagine that, but come on, there are some crazy people out there. It would be nice to believe that, but you know people can be harmful, etc. But that is what I want. I want to feel that. I want to experience that. I want to imagine that I, and believe that. This is what I want. Why reject myself from that experience? Neville is saying, what if nothing could embarrass you? What if your world was safe? What if your world always worked toward the fulfillment of your desires instead of having opposition? 
When I assume it, I do not care how it will happen, or when, or if it's even possible. All I care about is changing my entire feeling to exactly what I want. Then in its own strange way, it grows in my world. This is what I mean by giving yourself what you truly want. Find something deep that you want and dare to assume it. This is what truly changes the self, and that self will be expressed.